Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Peter Han, the investment portfolio manager, who's recently been exposing the corrupt practices going on against the AMC stock, has been silenced. Today, we're going to discuss how we know he's been silenced and why. Trust me, guys, you do not want to miss this video. So stay tuned and let's make some money. But before I dive into the video, I just want to give a massive shout out to the 1,400 of you that have currently dinged that notification bell because you guys are always the first to watch a new video as soon as it's released. So guys, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell if you haven't already so that you don't miss another video just like this one. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So blink twice if you're being held hostage. So we now know for sure Han's statements were true. Citadel, you silly rabbit. Peter said, all right. So regarding my post yesterday regarding Citadel, it's been pointed out to me that in my absence of specific documented evidence, several of my points in my recent AMC post were erroneous and should be retracted. Citadel and Virtue are not friends and are in fact direct competitors in processing equity market trades. I had previously indicated they work together to dominate the retail equity market. Citadel does not have the ability to dictate price during slow or high volume trading days. They function purely as a market maker and simply process order flow. I had previously indicated that they use their ability as a market maker to favour their trading book. A psychic warfare group does not exist at Citadel and the firm does not try to induce retail traders to exit trades. The Citadel business model thrives on increasing retail volumes. I had previously stated that they had such a group. All these points have been discussed over the internet during the last six months, but I acknowledge that there is no way to verify any of them. With that, I have decided to refrain from discussing Citadel in any capacity going forward. However, I will continue to point out equity market issues, including those involving AMC and GME or GameStop. Now I want to address each of these points in detail. And the one that gives it away the most is at the start when he says it has been pointed out to me. So obviously someone has got in contact with him and basically asked him or forced him to remove or counteract his previous post. I now want to go over the third point where he talks about a psychology warfare group not existing at Citadel. But very coincidentally, there's an interview with Ken Griffin himself talking about just that. Let's give it a listen. Well, there's there's been a rise of quantitative trading strategies over the last 30 years. And today we're at probably a peak in capital deployed with these strategies. This is part of the march of progress forward. There's an understanding that many dynamics of how humans behave can be, in a sense, taken advantage of by technology. If we know how humans behave and we can predict that, we can use that to better position our portfolios. And a number of quantitative strategies rely upon human biases and behavior to be successful. So as we understand this, look at the recent Nobel Prize in behavioral economics. As we understand this, we will use computers in new and innovative ways to better drive the pricing of assets in financial markets. So there we go. He's just said that there's many ways in which humans behave that could be taken advantage of, either specifically by technology or by psychology level experts researching and coding that technology for him. So he's just admitted that yes, they do trade based on retail traders emotions and either try and get them to capitulate or to buy more to either influence the price upwards or downwards in their favor. So what about the second point where Citadel supposedly does not have the ability to dictate price during slow or high volume trading days? Well, Jim Cramer recently gave an interview where he talks about himself manipulating prices up and down during high and low volume days when he worked at a hedge fund. You know, a lot of times when I was short at my hedge fund and I was positioned short, meaning I needed it down, uh, I would uh, create a, um, a level of activity beforehand that could drive the futures. It doesn't take much money. Uh, similarly, if, uh, or if I were long and I would want to make things a little bit rosy, I would go in and take a bunch of stocks and make sure that they are, they're higher. And maybe commit $5 million in capital to do it and I could affect it. Uh, what you're seeing now is maybe, it probably is bigger market now, maybe you need 10 million in capital to knock this stuff down. But it's a fun game and it's a lucrative game and you, you can move it up and then fade it. That often creates a very negative feel. So let's say you take a longer term view intraday and you say, listen, I'm going to boost the futures and then when the real sellers come in, real market comes in, they're going to knock it down and it's going to create a negative, uh, negative view. That's a strategy very worth doing. 
when you're va when you're valued on a day to day basis. And I would encourage anyone who's in the hedge fund game to do it because it's legal, right? And it uh, it is a very quick way to make money and very satisfying. Okay. Um, well. Oh, by the way, no one else in the world would ever admit that, but I can care. That's right, and you can say that here. I can't. I'm not going to say it on TV. <laughs> uh, well, on a related note, there's so many more hedge funds today than when you were right. managing your hedge fund. Right. Do you think that that does that exacerbate the moves, or does it make it well, tougher? Well, you know, the, the hedge funds are positioned long, short. Okay, not just long like mutual funds. So it's really vital these next six days because of your payday. You've really got to control the market. You can't let it lift. When you get a research in motion, it's really important to use a lot of your firepower to knock that down because it's the fulcrum of the market today. So I mean, let's say I were, uh, I were short. What I would do is I would hit a lot of guys with rim. Now, you can't foment. That's a violation of... of foment? Yeah. You can't foment. foment. You can't create a, yourself an impression that a stock's down. But you do it anyway because the SEC doesn't right. understand it. So you, I mean, it's that's the only sense that I would say this is illegal. But a, a hedge fund that's not up a lot really has to do a lot now to save itself. So um, this is different from what I was talking about at the beginning, where I would be buying the cues and stuff. Right. This is actually just a blatantly illegal. But when you have six days and your company may be in doubt because you're down, I think it's really important to foment. Uh, if I were one of these guys, for men, an impression that research in motion isn't any good because research in motion is the key Rich. today. So you know, you would you would hit this guy and that guy, and when you would see an offering, when you see a guy who's bidding, you'd wipe out that guy very quickly. And the, what I used to do um, was called if I wanted to go higher, I would take and bid, take and bid, take and bid. Um, and if, um, if I wanted to go lower, I'd hit an offer, hit an offer, hit an offer, and I could get a stock like Rim for maybe that might cost me fifteen, twenty million. Annie to knock Rim down, but it would be fabulous because it would beleaguer all the moron longs who are also keen on research and motion. So there I see we're seeing on today with yeah Rim, we're seeing that that's you know again when your company's in a survival mode, it's really important to defeat research and motion and get the Pisanis of the world and the people talking about it as if there's something wrong with Rim. Then you would call the journal and you get the Bozo reporter on research and motion and you would feed that there's a Palm's got a killer it's going to give away. These are all the things you must do on a day like today. And if you're not doing it, maybe you shouldn't be in the game. But there you have it. Not only do you have Jim Cramer admitting to it only costing between five and ten or maybe 15 to 20 million to manipulate the market, but also saying that it's so important to do that to crush the long trader or the retail trader's emotions. The retail traders have that proven research and therefore you just need to artificially drop the stock to get them all confused and to crush them and make them sell. And therefore, not only does Citadel trade based off retail traders' emotions, but it's also very, very easy for them to manipulate the price of the AMC stock and it might only cost five to 20 million dollars maybe more now in 2021 in addition to this we also have a massive massive increase in bot comments that i've spoken about in my last few videos bots claimed 50 dollars back in may the 26th when the price was at 38 dollars it then ran to 72 dollars bots are now claiming 100 dollars when the price is yet again 38 dollars here we can see a number of comments from bots or people all suggesting that the apes should sell at $50 because that's likely going to be the top. However, you can tell these are bot comments because they're all very, very similar comments worded very similarly. Again, we're now getting those very similar comments trying to convince people to sell at $100 and not be greedy and be happy with that $100. Even from a fundamental standpoint, it doesn't even make sense. Adam Aaron cancelled those 25 million shares and AMC has been having record breaking setting weekends and yet the price has still been tanking. If we have a look at the AMC price chart we can see four very consecutive very large red days to try and push us to the bottom or below this wedge. It's obvious that hedges are trying to do absolutely everything they can to get you worried and to try and get you to paper hand and sell your shares. I personally think the hedges are trying to do absolutely everything they can to silence specific people in the industry. Couple this with the massive increase in bot comments and bot articles, all coincidentally while the AMC stock price has been dropping. But I also know that the apes are very, very smart and you have hands made of diamonds and you're most likely not going to sell. Guys, if you haven't already, I'd really consider becoming part of the team on the Patreon and the private Discord linked down in the description below to talk about AMC, recent news stories and due diligence before I even make a video. And if you want to pick up some shares in AMC, but you haven't even yet signed up to a trading platform, be sure to check out the links down in the description below to Webull if you're in the US or Free Trade in the UK to get some free shares with very low minimum deposits. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, 
be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell, because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.